Hi there, I'm Java Jim with First Line Equipment. And as you see here, we have two gorgeous beauties. The Lalit Bianca with black and white coating and I believe maple, I'm not a wood expert, but maple uh, wood, uh, beautifully accessorized in these two gorgeous machines. I'm not really a big fan of colored espresso machines. But when I saw these, I became a fan. As you know, I'm already a fan of the Bianca because it's just revolutionized uh, the industry uh, with the flow control, with the paddle pressure profiling. Um, and again, everyone's copied now. Uh, and that's okay, you know, it's flattery. Uh, but now we have these gorgeous looking machines and, you know, Lily likes to give surprises. They don't always tell us the incremental improvements because the flow control paddles here were a big step forward or what I call a leap improvement. But they don't tell us about the little increment improvements that it, they put into this model here. And we, I haven't taken them apart yet, uh, but these will be available on First Line uh, next couple days. And the first thing that we noticed when we went to go take these out of the box is the packaging. Uh, they have changed it. Uh, there have been numerous of instances, not a lot, numerous. I mean, when you consider the amount of machines sold, um, and I'd probably say maybe 20 or 30, that's numerous for me, uh, where the machines were mishandled by the shipping companies. If you go back to my very first video in packaging, these just ship out on a pallet. We worked with Lalit to improve the packaging and basically uh, to the point where they can be shipped uh, via the common carriers. Uh, there is one carrier in particular today that's still uh, damaging some. Uh, I've spoken to some of my competitors about it, told them switch over uh, or do it you know, add some extra packaging. We still add extra packaging. But basically what they did here was when we took this out of the machine, this of course was in a plastic bag and this was put into here to absorb any front impact because the damage really occurred the drip tray section over here or over here. So every machine will and can get damaged. The beauty about a good dealer or a great deal like First Line is that we will go and put the extra effort, open the boxes, put in extra packaging material. And trust me, I've gone to manufacturers to try to do this for us. They have their standard protocols, SOPs. They don't want to bother uh, until they hear the whole world complaining. And unfortunately here in the US, uh, the shipping mechanisms that we have are not the best when it comes to parcel packages. So with this, we're gonna to toss that forward and get into a little more divvy details. But before we do that, take a look. We also just received the black and white Mara X's, subcompact commercial grade machines uh, that can perform phenomenally well if you have a little less uh, space available or you're working on a little tighter budget. Take a look at those on, on our website. Those are beautiful babies as well. Here, uh, the other noticeable difference is the drip tray. Uh, if you look at the drip tray, the grill, okay, is a little bit different, okay, uh, than the one that comes with the stainless. So take a look there. If you look at the grill portion on the top or the grate, it is a little different. It gives you a little more working space. Uh, sometimes with these, you, you get liquid here, you can get runoff. So that's a lot of the manufacturers are going this route. Uh, you can still drain it down here. Uh, the rubber mounts here to prevent or lower or lessen vibration. These are now made in black instead of brown. You have your uh, back flush disc holder as well in there. I'm gonna put this back gently because this, this one's already sold. We have the extended steam and hot water valves which we've had in the previous unit. Uh, the other little thing that I'm noticing is, and I'm not sure if this is an impact, but there are two little holes here, which I haven't noticed before. And these two little holes may somewhat act as a vent 
I don't think so, but for some reason there are two little holes here. Can't explain why. Just like on the new Mara version two, RX version twos, new logo on the tank. And after investigating, uh, an extra jaclure for the needle that's in the flow control device. There have been some customers You'll do some readings probably around anywhere between 50 and 100 in the last four years. Again, not a lot. But if you build lime scale in there, what will happen is sometimes this will crack. And I typically see some type of corrosion, lime scale, calcium, magnesium. Sometimes it's green. It could be from purified waters or waters that are a little more purified. So with that in mind, use the water softener that comes with the machine. Recharge it once a week. Home water softener or uh, softening in tank water softening search on our website we have an article written there and do that once a week do not do not use purified distilled ro waters okay reverse osmosis and definitely do not use any formulation uh, uh, powders or liquids that go into distilled water okay i just answered an email from a customer who had an overheat situation. Again, I have a video about that. And you can see I'm, I'm pretty adamant because every time this happens, it always reverts back to the water, 99% uh, of the cases. And he's using some powder that he purchases, adding it to the still, and his machine's overheating. So I cannot reiterate because the less problems for you means the less problems for us. And the more you enjoy the machine, the happier you are and the more you recommend us because we do base uh, a lot of our sales on customer referrals, okay? Another little tidbit that Lalit didn't tell us is the plumbing on the bottom. And uh, I'll lift up this machine, and then basically right here, they've changed uh, the tubing. Uh, let me get to the other side so I could see better because I don't have a mirror, okay? And you can see my shiny head, but they changed the copper tubing here. There is a fitting that they included with O-rings to go to the plumbing type, okay? So right now it's just um, basically the uh, barb here with, with the copper tubing. So they, they've actually changed this. And we're gonna take one of these white ones apart to check on the inside to see what else they did. Uh, but basically, that right there, you have your pump pressure adjustment screw right there. And that's pretty much it. And they added the stickers on the bottom. Finally, finally they added their stickers because I do like the stickers on the bottom, not on the back of the unit or somewhere else. So they may have put them there before, but I just noticed that the stickers are on the bottom. So watch my other videos on the Bianca. It is a killer machine uh, out there and one that you will thoroughly enjoy having a good grinder. And hopefully you purchase here at First Line. We do appreciate the business. If you have any questions or comments, please ask down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button not the unsubscribe the subscribe button and uh, thank you for watching have a wonderful day again coffee first everything else second take care